You're looking at the underdogs of the sixth round of the FA Cup, second division Birmingham City. Nobody really outside this ground of St Andrews expects them to beat their opponents this afternoon, Tottenham Hotspur. Here is the Birmingham team, a team of no great distinction, although people outside the Midlands will easily recognise the names of Bert Murray and Barry Bridges, the ex-Chelsea player, players, and uh, Ron Wiley, the skipper there, number four, and a much revered player in these parts. Certainly they've got a lot on their plate today. Let's have a look at Trevor Hockey. There's the man you'll see a lot of today, the Birmingham number seven. They say that uh, you switch him on and he runs for 90 minutes. This is the side they're taking on, Tottenham Hotspur, a team of really immense talent. There are the Spurs players, representatives of five countries there. Dave Mackay fit. Let's have a look at uh, Jimmy Greaves. There's Jimmy Greaves in full of this Tottenham side. We're off in this sixth round cup tie. Spurs in the all-white strip. Harriet, the Birmingham keeper. Bowden. This is Robertson. Deciding to go it alone up the flank. Well, they're playing on, they're playing on. Wiley to Green. Wiley gets it back. Green again, they're playing Shufty with it here, and it's nice play, but yes indeed, Bridges has it. Spurs break it up, and that's a good ball, and he's onside. This is Robertson. Gilzean and Saul are the only two people in front of him. Cut off by Harriet. Bobby Thompson for Birmingham. Bowden gets a second bite at it. Just can't keep it in play. And the referee... Uh, Giving Tottenham the benefit of an infringement there. I must confess, I didn't see what that was for, but uh, Spurs get the advantage. Robertson. Joe Kinnear. Right onto the head of Gilzean. This is Venables. Out to Saul. Sharples, well headed out there. Oh, he's a bit slow, a bit slow. Gets dispossessed, very rightly, this is Mullery. Over to Saul. How about this? How is Jimmy Greaves? This is Fenton. Thompson forward. To hockey who pops up everywhere. What a splendid match this is. He's appearing for handball, gets it. And Birmingham get a free kick in a very good position just outside the Spurs penalty area. Now then, there's Bobby Thompson in the group. Ron Wiley in the group. And Bert Murray, Bert Murray and Wiley. Wiley takes it. It's a corner kick. Packed house, 52,000. Are absorbed by this? For 
football match. Over it comes from hockey. Up goes Mackay. Bowden there, Jennings punishing. Desperately trying to punch it out. What a good game of football this is. We've really seen some end-to-end -end stuff. As we're moving towards the end of the first half, hockey taking the corner again. Bang! Header from Thompson. Very good one. Just wide. I like that here at St Andrews. The referee indicating by that extraordinary uh, piece of gymnastics that the elbow was up in that uh, heading duel and Spurs get a free kick. Mackay. Well, that is it. He's whistled for half-time. Still no score in this match between Birmingham City and, and Spurs. And we're away. This is Trevor Hockey. Free kick to Spurs. Sharples banging that down. Mackay banging it back. Greaves stumbling. Hockey chesting it. Square to Wiley. Wiley trying to get it through to Vowden. This is Vowden up on the right. Goes through. That's a good cross by Fenton. Fifteen minutes gone in the second half, and uh, Spurs in a little bit of uh, discomfort there. Jennings getting it at the second attempt. But they're back. This is Gilzine, and it's uh, three to two. Very well stepped in, Murray. Now then, they're away, and the crowd sends it. Bowden slips, but gets it. Malcolm Beard. Wiley taking over. Long and hard. Too long. Sharples. And again, with Gilzine, Greaves trying to find Robertson over the top. That was Colin Green, who's played really a superb game this afternoon, stepping in. Playing on, 15 minutes to go in the second half, still no score. This is Bridges. Now then, can Birmingham get it in? Up they go, it's punched through, this is Murray, banging away, and a great save by Jennings. The best shot of the match, without a doubt. And that's one of the reasons why people are talking about Jennings as a great goalkeeper. This is hockey. They're going for him. And the referee says, no, you don't. It's a free kick. Oh, 
still no score. Sharple's going up for that one. And as he's about to leap for the second, uh, he entangles with Gilzine. Just about as, uh, as he, in fact, as he was about to take off for the second header there. So, Birmingham gets another free kick. That's it. It's all over. No result here at St Andrews. It will go to a replay. No score in the match between Birmingham City and Tottenham Hotspur. Nottingham Forest safely through. Birmingham and Tottenham to replay at White Hart Lane on Wednesday night. Both the other matches were very tight affairs. Leeds United got through against Manchester City and so made their second semi-final in their history. The first semi-final they had, they got through to Wembley. Only one goal did it, and that was scored by Jackie Charlton after 51 minutes. He came up for a corner, and the famous Charlton head did the rest. Chelsea are through to their third successive semi-final, and they beat Sheffield Wednesday, thereby avenging the defeat they suffered in the semi-final of last season. But they left it very, very late. The only goal of the game came from the very last kick. The scorer was Tommy Baldwin, who passed a fitness test and was past fit to play after having a sore throat for the last few days. Twelve minutes from the end of this match, Bobby Tambling collapsed with an old groin injury and had to be carried from the field on a stretcher. Now, Chelsea are through, and they got the biggest crowd of the day, 52,481. The total attendance at the four ties was 200,868. And just to recap, three clubs through, Nottingham Forest, Leeds United and Chelsea, Birmingham City, Tottenham Hotspur, still battling it out on Wednesday night at White Hart Lane. And with that report of an exciting Cup Day, may I remind you we'll have another match of the day for you next Saturday. Hope you'll join us then. Until then, good night. Thank you.